Hey guys, what's up? Matt here from iTech224. Today on the first episode of Photo Tip of the Week, we're going to be going over some of the basic features of your DSLR camera. Just kind of going over some of the buttons so you know what your camera does. So of course not every camera is the same, there's going to be differences between each one, but there's some things that every camera has that you need to know about. Now this is mainly going to be about DSLRs because that's what I have, that's what I use, but this is going to apply also to some Micro Four Thirds cameras that also have manual controls or some more advanced point and shoot cameras that have manual controls as well. If you have your basic $200 point and shoot camera, none of this is really going to apply because mainly those cameras only have automatic features. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now aside from your general memory card opening or battery slot, we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the buttons and what they do. So on DSLRs there's going to be a dial that you can go ahead and use to select what features you want to use. So you're oftentimes going to be getting a lot of scene modes and these are different, vary from different camera to camera. But the one thing that they all will have in common is your modes for manual controls. So you're going to have an auto mode, which means everything is automatic. Your camera is going to do everything for you. This is good if you just barely bought the camera and you really needed it just for this one occasion. You needed to take it right out of the box and start using it. Use the auto mode and then you can start learning the more features. Then right above that, you'll usually have a program mode which this is still automatic, but there's some features that you can control like ISO. It really depends, but mostly it's still automatic. Just a little bit more features that you can control. Above that, you're going to have shutter priority or aperture priority. On Nikon, it's going to be an A or an S for aperture or shutter priority, but on a Canon, it's going to be AV or TV. TV is going to be for shutter priority and AV is going to be for aperture priority. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at your dial. Now moving away from the dial, you're most likely going to see something that either says LV or is a switch or just a button that has a screen on it. Now this is going to be able to make you go into live view. Now live view lets you see on the screen what your camera is capturing currently. So it's going to be more like a typical point and shoot so you don't have to look through the viewfinder all the time. Also if you have a newer camera, you're most likely going to see a button with a red dot and that is where you go ahead and click to record video. You're also going to have a button that has a play button on it. You're going to want to click that to go ahead and review some of the pictures that you have on your device. While you're looking through that, you can go ahead and click the trash button and that's how you're going to be able to delete some of the pictures. Now if you look on the top of your camera, you'll see that there is a flash and you might be wondering how you actually open that up. Usually right below it, you're going to see a button with a little lightning bolt on it. If you click that, it's going to pop up the flash and you'll be able to use it. Also somewhere on the camera, you're going to see a button that has FN on it. This means function, which means if you go into the menu settings of your camera, you're going to be able to set it to whatever you want. So when you click that button, it's going to do whatever you chose it to do. This button is extremely helpful for quick things like ISO if your camera doesn't have a dedicated button for it or movie mode, stuff like that. Now one of the last things I'm going to talk about is a dial that you're either going to have in the back or in the front and back. Now this little dial is how you edit these settings. So say I want to make my shutter speed from 1 30th of a second to 1 100th of a second. I'm going to go ahead and twist that dial and it's going to go ahead and change it to what I want. If you have two dial, most likely you're going to be the back one for the shutter and the front one for the aperture. But if you only have one, you're most likely going to be able to control the shutter normally. And if you hold down a button, read your manual to see which one it is, you'll be able to change the aperture with that same dial. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just went over some of the very basic things about your camera. If you just pulled it out of the box and you have no no idea what those buttons mean. Hopefully that helped a little bit. There's a ton of variation between cameras, so no video in the world is ever going to be able to go over them in a short amount of time. If you have any questions about your specific camera, the best thing to do is read the manual or do a quick Google search about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to be getting into some more advanced features of how to actually take better pictures and how to actually control your camera the way you want to in some other episodes. If you enjoy this, make sure you guys hit subscribe and give it a like. That would be awesome. Again, my name is Matt from iTechD24, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.